It is an incredibly windy day here in the windy city of Chicago, and that's exactly what CF Montreal were also thinking after they left Soldier Field this afternoon. It was an incredible game as the Chicago Fire stunned the Canadian visitors 4-3 to in front of nearly 15,000 fans right here on the lakefront. I'm a passionate person. I love the team, and I don't, don't hide. I want to win every freaking game. Mm -hmm. You know, and I care about the club just like the fans, so I'm not here. You know, I want to win, and I'm proud of the group because we have a good, it, it's easy for me to say, but then I think the performance like that really talks about the attitude and, you know, and the mentality and the character of the team that we've tried to change and with the guys that we brought in. Montreal have had an incredible start to this season. They actually beat Inter Miami in their last match and are unbeaten heading into their fourth game. But they came to Chicago and went up two goals very, very quickly with a pair of penalty kicks from Matias Kokoro, the new designated player signing from Uruguay. Now, on the other hand, we have to address certain things without the ball because I felt that, you know, we, we, we gave up, you know, uh, the goals we gave up. We need to address that because we're not going to win. I don't think every game is going to be like this. And, you know, I don't think we, gotta, we can be giving up two or three goals a game and expect to get results. Marin Haile Selassie scored in the eighth minute of first half stoppage time. And the fire were only down a goal going in the Swiss winger Marin Haile Selassie scored shortly before the half to make sure that the fire weren't down two goals going into the break. But with 20 minutes left in regulation, the lead was restored, meaning that Montreal were up three goals to one with less than 10 minutes to play. I quoted Winston Churchill where he said, never give up, never, ever, ever give up. Things changed very, very quickly though because Raheem Edwards, a former Chicago Fire player who had come off the bench for Montreal, then got a red card and gave away a penalty, meaning the Fire had a lifeline in the 84th minute. Brian Gutierrez, surprisingly, stepped up and scored the penalty bringing the game even even closer. This comes just a day after Gutierrez was surprisingly left off the US U23 team at the Olympics. Oh my god, it's... Anyway, it is far too windy to continue recording using a tripod because it keeps falling over. However, in the 95th minute, designated player Hugo Kuypers, who was signed from Belgium in a $12 million transfer, finally scored his first fire goal, blasting home a shot from close range, tying the game in the 95th minute. Uh, week in, week out, I just try to do my job and, and score as many as I can uh, to help the team, and I'm really happy that I, I could do my job today. And then enter the wind, which as you can see, is blowing everything all around me. Then, Kellen Acosta picks up the ball inside his own half, whips the ball into the box, hopeful shot, trying to hope someone can get on the end of it, who knows, and the wind picks it up, just like it's picking up my tripod every five seconds I'm trying to record this, and it's picking up right now, as you can see, and basically the ball trickles in over Jonathan Sirois into the back of the net, fire wind, unbelievable scenes at Soldier Field. Uh, this time, the, I was had some St. Patrick's Day luck on my side, <laughs> the wind was able to, to take it, and um, you know, for me, it, it was one of those things when it left my foot, I was almost upset with myself, like, dang, I kind of blew an opportunity. And then I realized, I'm like, this might have a chance. And then I saw the keeper take two steps. I'm like, this might really have a chance. And yeah, I mean, he came out, it went over his head, and you know, the rest is history. For Frank Klopas, this is an absolutely huge win. It's something that can turn around the fortunes of the fire, an organization that's been struggling to cope with these late leads in the last couple of years. It's the kind of win that can turn around a season and can be a huge piece of momentum as the fire prepare for tough road games against the New England Revolution and Atlanta United. It's good to be on the other side of games like this, you know? It's one of those memorable games that. Uh, um, it will be hard to forget, uh, and it's a, I feel it's, it's a game that can kind of change the season around for us because it would have been difficult if it's the other way around, and, you know, I think we need to enjoy this. I told the guys there are moments you need, we always need to be even keel, but moments like this we need to enjoy. And from a windy, windy, windy soldier field, I have been Alice Calabrese from Red 97 Media. I will talk to you guys again soon.